Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, what's going on? Did I leave my coffee cup up here? Of course I did, because why would I bring that with me? Hey. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You're not supposed to be in here. Woke up this morning to a huge pile of cat puke on the ground. That was awesome. Looks like Oreo already took care of it. I'm kidding, I cleaned it up first. He probably just got to lick the wet carpet. He loves licking wet carpet. Anyway guys, I got up at 6.30 today. It's currently 7.30 and that means I get to have a coffee. This is part of my coffee detox. No more waking up first thing in the morning taking a piss and then getting the coffee going. Now it's wake up in the morning, take a piss, let puppy out to take a piss, and then go sit upstairs and watch YouTube or my morning steps, which I didn't do today, but basically just basically march on the spot or use the stepping machine. My legs are killing me, so sitting felt like the right thing to do especially after yesterday's workout. And then 7.30 hits and I'm allowed to have a coffee because I can start to feel cortisol calming down. So that's what we're doing right now is we're gonna make ourselves a Keurig. It should be omnomalicious. Something I need to tell you guys is I ended up ordering my new laptop. So I reached out to my Dell rep and I said, hey man, I'm looking to get a new laptop for video editing. I'm like the old Ryzen 2500U, after all the fine updates that your support team has made, can edit videos, but she's kind of a slouch and I'm looking for something a little more modern. What can you do for me? Then I threw down the two machines that I was looking at, one being the Inspiron and one being the, uh, the it's an Inspiron 5515, and the second one being this uh, Dell XPS Gaming Edition or G Series, and it was basically the the first one was a 5700u and the second one was a 5600h now the 5600h obviously has a higher tdp and it also had a nvidia 3050 where the 5700u just had the um the built-in radeon graphics which i've seen on the 2500u is more than enough to get the job done now that vegas has been updated to be you know not garbage and supports a lot of other processors personally something a little sidetrack is i'm almost tempted to see if somebody i know has an intel based one with that iris card because that's the competitor to intel's or to amd's apu technology i'm almost tempted to see how well that thing can handle video editing but i wasn't about to bite the bullet because i already know amd apu works so get what works and work with it anyway so i reached out to them and the best he could do he said listen he's like we don't really do promos anymore he's like uh you know he noticed my channel hasn't budged since 2017 he's like the best that i can do is give you a product code to knock he goes, I, I can knock 25% off if you use this code. So I was like, ah, that's still going to be... It ended up coming up to like $729. So I was like, okay. So I went and checked my PayPal to see how much I had in there from buying and selling and mining Bitcoin. And surprisingly enough, I had about $450. So that was kind of sweet. Probably should have spent some of that on dish soap. But so I had $450 in there. Normally for my birthday which is coming up. Actually, this is gonna be playing after my birthday. My parents give me money, usually about anywhere from 100 to $300 worth, which is pretty sweet. So that gave me 750. And on top of that, I have a, a YouTube payout coming in uh, sometime at the end of the month. So that'll basically cover the cost of the laptop. So what I ended up doing, guys, is I ordered the 5515, which is the AMD 5700 8-core 16 thread APU uh, clock. I'm not even sure what it's clocked at. I don't even know. But it came with 16 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive. And it should be pretty good. It's got Windows 11, but to be fair, Windows 11 is just a reskinned Windows 10. It might have some better functionality, but all in all, it's the same shit, different pile. Like dad's new laptop that we went and picked up at Best Try. Well, it has Windows 11 on it. And going through it, it was a bit different. Like you don't reach over to the bottom uh, left anymore for the start button. Damn thing is dead center, just staring you in the face. But other than that, it's pretty much the same functionality. Like the start menu is kind of lame. I found myself reaching for the keyboard a lot and typing in things that I wanted to find because the start menu was just not very intuitive so i don't know what kind of strap microsoft was going for there but obviously i failed one so i decided to order up the new laptop i'm like you know what i'm going to be doing a lot more mobile editing it'd be nice to have something i can take with me and get the job done just as efficiently as i could at home on my normal rig now 
I don't know much about the laptop. I noticed with a lot of these APUs lately and a lot of laptops, especially the thin, the thin form factor ones, companies like Acer and Asus and, and Dell, and I'm trying to think of others out there, MSI, they've been having this bad tendency of soldering the RAM to the actual motherboard. Now, I understand it gives it a better connection, but what it takes away is the ability to upgrade that laptop. You basically gotta buy it in the configuration that you need it for, for the rest of the life of the laptop. Oh, here we go. So you basically gotta buy it in the configuration that you need for the rest of the life of the laptop, or else you buy it, you use it for a bit, and then you realize it doesn't cut out, and you end up having to buy another laptop, because the one you bought just isn't good enough to do the job that you need it to do, which really sucks. Now that 5525 that I have, which is kind of funny, the 5525 is a lower number than the 5515, but the 5515 has way better specs. What's up with that, Bill Nye the Science Guy? Like, who's labeling these computers? Obviously somebody who failed at math and numbers. So anyway, mind you, the other computer was nice, but after all said and done, even with 25% taken off, the thing was gonna set me back $13.99. Well, 13 and change. So I would have ended up paying a lot of money for, well, obviously a way better machine, but with, an, with a dedicated graphics card, a 45 watt TDP processor, which would have been balling. But honestly, I figured if my four core eight thread 2500U with Vega eight graphics, non RX can do it, not efficiently, mind you, it's a two to one ratio. I figure you add four more cores and eight more threads to that equation with an RX enabled video card, which I don't even know what the heck that does, but let's just pretend it's efficient. Um, I watched some videos of people playing games on it just to get an idea. I know my laptop can play Grand Theft Auto right now at 720p and she'll clock in about a solid 25 to 30 frames per second. Where this new laptop, Buddy was playing it on 1080p normal mode and Grand Theft Auto played at about 45 to 250 frames per second in not bad situations. A lot of explosions, she started to lag because once again, GPU and CPU are the same, it's 25 watts, graphics get intense, lag occurs way she goes because the pr it's going to keep the processor powered and take power away from the video card aspect of it now the 5700u is not built on the new zen 3 architecture it's still a zen 2 processor apparently what it is it's a rebadged 4800 from last generation brought into this generation which is just like the uh, see the, the the 5700 and the 5500U are Zen 2, the 5600U and the 5800U are Zen 3. They're both built on the seven nanometer uh, scale, the, the new architecture. It's just the Zen 3 has some better memory handling and some other nonsense too. And it has the updated graphics card, the RX, instead of the old Radeon non-RX. Once again, no clue what the difference is, don't really care. I just know that the video card itself is 1400 megahertz and it has eight cores equivalent to like 384 shaders or some shit, I don't know, whatever, doesn't matter. So I'm not gonna be using it for gaming, that's not the plan. Literally it's gonna be a mobile editing rig and it came up to, I think I said 729, I think it was around that price after the 25% discount code from Dell and i don't have to make videos on it that's one thing they told me like hey, i'm just going to give you this code because you've been a loyal customer and you bought a lot of machines from us and and because i bought the desktops and i bought two laptops from them before a dell inspiron uh 6400 and a dell inspiron 1520 then they sent me the 7520 as a review item and then they sent me the uh the frig 55 5525 I think it is as a review rig with a discount so they knock some money off so they just gave me uh, a discount code for this one here and said you don't need to make videos on it but we know you will because you get excited with tech so that happened actually on the weekend um you remember I made a video a while back mentioning that I was going to talk to my Dell rep I did actually email them but I can't remember what the hell happened I got so caught up in the moment of something uh oh yeah I went out and ran errands that night that was the night that I went out and bought the mic and and the uh 
What else did I do that night? I just went out and bought the mic. I can't even remember what happened yesterday anymore. Wow, cabin fever, boys. When you've been living in your house, working out of your house, and working out out of your house, and doing everything in your house, and not leaving your house, every day is the same damn day. Welcome to Groundhog Day, boys. Like, honestly, I feel like Bill Murray right now. Every day is the same damn thing. Wake up, take a piss, have some coffee, eight o'clock, punch in, do my job, talk to this camera, get off work at four, Take a big dump, load up on some mother freaking pre-workout, lift till I puke, then lift some more, have a shower, talk to this camera, go to bed. Like every day, same damn thing, nonstop. <laughs> Honestly, feeling like Bill Murray. But anyway, I got caught up in the moment and I didn't realize I got an email back from him. So Ashim emailed me back and, and basically explained like, we're not doing promos at this time. Um, however, what I can do because you're such a loyal customer is I can give you this here code from Dell. It gives you 25% off of your order and you can pick whatever computer you want. So I was like, all right, well, that's better than a kick in the ass. So we'll take it. So I got some promo code and it turns out Honey actually had the promo code stored. So it wasn't like they're really doing me any favors because honey had the the promo code right there so i was like oh well piss whatever that's cool so got some money knocked off uh i ordered the laptop actually on saturday after i got that notice i didn't mention anything to you guys because well once again saturday i was hanging out with with nikki and that's when i pulled the plug or was it saturday no this, that was last i can't even remember now I can't even remember when the hell anything went down. I'm pretty sure I ordered it on Saturday. Something like that. Anyway, but yeah, the laptop was ordered. No, I ordered the laptop on... Okay, we got the mic on Thursday. I can't remember when I did anything anymore. This is horrible. It was the day that I got the mic the following day. So I decided to pull the trigger on it. It was Thursday, because I think Wednesday is when I got the mic. I can't remember now. I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on with my life. But anyway, so I ordered it up. They said it was shipped out on Saturday. I didn't realize courier services were on Saturday. And it should be here any day. Now, it is coming by Pure Later, and Pure Later has this awesome tendency to uh, deliver you a sticker rather than the computer because they don't want to carry it on the truck because they don't want to lift anything because they hire the uh, non-lifting version of anybody to run their trucks. So heaven forbid. And I remember the one day, actually the XPS uh, 9000, when I ordered that computer, Pure Later showed up and Buddy like walked to the door with a sticker, didn't even have the computer in his hands. And I, I greeted him at the door. I opened the door and I was like, hey bro, what's up? And he's like, oh, you gotta go, you're gonna have to pick up your computer tomorrow at Pure Later. I said, is it in the truck? And he's like, uh, yeah. And I'm like, then why isn't it not in your hands? No, oh, it's really heavy. I didn't feel like carrying it. I'm like, well, frig shakes. So I basically went outside and I pulled it out of his truck and I carried it back to the house because Dum Dum was too freaking lazy to do his damn job, you know, like his courier job. Maybe he should quit that job and take up a profession in bagging groceries. I don't know, but they seem to like to not deliver packages and make you go out of your way to pick up a package that you've already paid a lot for and even paid a shipping cost to have it delivered to your house. Mind you, Dell has a promo going right now, free shipping on laptops over $500 or orders over $500 through Pure Later. So that's probably why they get away with it. But I know with the Dell XPS 8300, one of the two laptops, I think it was the 1520, they never delivered it to the house and they actually pulled off the old scam where they left a notice on my door saying go to the office and pick it up. And both times I complained to the clerk behind the counter saying like, what the hell kind of delivery driver doesn't deliver? They just leave a sticker. Like if that's the case, why don't you guys just mail me a freaking sticker and fire the delivery guys and have us all just come into the office and pick up our packages. Your corporation could save a lot more money if you didn't have dickheads out there driving trucks, burning gas just to deliver stickers. Hell, the mailman can do that. Perfect. I know it's your competition, but at least mailmen deliver parcels. Unlike a parcel company, that doesn't. Doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna have to keep my... And the worst part is, is this thing here, man, he will go off at the lightest sound. The Pure Later dick can totally evade him and approach the door without setting off my dog. I don't get it. I have no idea how the hell this is remotely possible, but he does it all the time and it kind of pisses me off. So like I said, that laptop should be here. Also guys, I've been doing some research on my gaming PC and it's it's technicalities. And by, by technicalities, I mean, like I'll be playing Red Dead Redemption and she stutters, she stutters, she stutters. Now I have already, oh, I almost threw up. I have RDR installed on an SSD on the, on the drive. So it's a fast access drive. So that was my first thing. 
thing was, okay, is it running slow because Red Dead Redemption sitting on the platter drive or is it on the SSD? I have it on the one terabyte SSD. It's not the problem. It should be fast enough. Mind you, it is an SSD and not an NVMe, so we don't have that PCI bus governing the speeds. It's literally just a SATA cable going into a regular hard drive port to a really fast disk, but it is still way the hell faster than using a platter drive where you gotta wait for the damn thing to spin up so the head can move and get your data. So we got that going for us, but obviously not going for us fast enough. But is that's not the problem. The actual problem, that was that. See, I'm starting to hear noises and I'm wondering, because they said it could be delivered today. So if it is, then the next video is probably gonna be, this is my new computer. Bitches don't like it, skanks. I found a program that a lot of people use for reviewing tech or mainly for doing gaming videos on platforms. Like when I was w watching the videos of the 5700U versus, so I looked at that versus the Intel, which the only thing I could find remotely close to it was the uh, i7, but the price was ridiculous compared to the i to, ugh, compared to the 5700U. So I decided to go with the i5 series to see if the i5 and a laptop that was the same comparable price as this one here from AMD. And I watched the Versus video and all you can find is video games and Cinebench shit. So I watched them both and the APU basically took it home. The software they were using actually showed vital information such as RAM usage, video RAM usage, hard disk usage. Like it basically showed the whole telemetry of the game in motion explaining where your bottlenecks are. And it turns out where my bottleneck is is actually the video card which it's 1070 like it's not modern or anything but it's also not a pile of piss like she she can still she should still be able to give her so one of the suggestions i had to basically up the frames is to lower the resolution now i'm playing at 18 or uh, 1920 by 1080 so 1080p one of the solutions I remember on the old XPS 8300 and the reason why the graphics looked so good on it, but it basically got good frames even with a 5500 uh, GX or GT or whatever the hell that card was, is because I was running, what time is it? It's 7.51, I gotta get up there and work. But I was running that computer at 1600 by 900. So it wasn't a true 1080p because both my monitors were only 16 by 9, 1600 by 900, not true 1080p. So I lost a bit of resolution, but in the end, it, it meant the card didn't have to drive hard to get the job done. So what I'm thinking is we can take a little bit of weight off the video card's back, drop her down to 1600 by 900, and RDR should be smooth as glass again. I haven't really tried it yet because I haven't really had a chance, but I turned on the software, puts on an overlay on the screen, ran the RDR demo and went, hmm, interesting, that sucks. So I looked up a thing on how to get more out of less and one of the solutions was lower the resolution. Of course, somebody mentioned run it at 720p, but when you have a monitor, I just saw somebody come by. This is gonna be a bad day. I'm gonna be staring out that window all day, I know it. But when you have um, a monitor that can do 144 hertz refresh rate, you really don't wanna be playing Red Dead Minecraft with that refresh rate. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna grab my coffee. It's 7.52. I'm gonna get upstairs, probably go stare at the Dell screen and just see where my lappy is and get to work. So this is the morning vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Figured I'd give you guys more of an explanation as to what's going on with lappy. Cause I said I wasn't gonna order one, but with the Bitcoin mining and selling and buying, cause that's what I was doing was I would buy when it was low and sell when it was high. And I just left the money in PayPal. And what's nice about Dell is Dell will actually let you buy laptops using PayPal and seeing how PayPal is bound to my account. All I had to do was, oh, what the hell's going on here? All I had to do was wait or leave the money in my account, order the laptop, pay with PayPal. It took the old balance out and along with some of the money from my account and we were good to go. Sorry, I'm just getting ready for work here. Don't know what that's all about, so cool. All right, we're all logged in, we're ready to rock and there's a whole shitload of people in, in the queue. Lovely. 
It's going to be a beauty day in the bay. Anyway, guys, on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. So that's what I was doing with the Bitcoins as I was mining. When they dropped drastically, I sold them. Or sorry, when they dropped drastically, I bought into it. And when they rose back up, I sold them. The moment I saw them starting to dip, I sell out and leave it in the PayPal account. And then every once in a while, if I had any extra money, I'd throw it in the PayPal. Then when they dip back down, I'd buy and then sell and buy and sell. And I had about 400 and I'm going to say 460 bucks or something like that in there uh, when I made the, the purchase. So I basically just spent all my Bitcoin investing money on a laptop. You probably think that's a dumb idea, but it's money. You can make more. Have fun with life. You only get one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, live it to win it. Peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.